Firefighters risk their lives every day responding to emergencies, but they also jeopardize their long-term health uh, through exposure to toxic chemicals. Dane Placco shows us how the city of Chicago is leading the country in protecting those who protect us. With incidents of cancer among firefighters climbing nationwide, the Chicago Fire Department is debuting a new technology to reduce exposure to carcinogens. Cancer rates are significantly higher than that of the general public. Um, I, I would say last time I, I read any kind of study it was somewhere between 20 and 30 percent over what the general public is normally susceptible to. We all know that firefighting is a dangerous job, but there's a hidden danger inside all that smoke, which is increasingly comprised of potentially carcinogenic chemicals from petroleum products and sticks to firefighting gear even after it's washed with water. Furniture is no longer made of wood. Carpet is no longer made of uh, typical textiles. Everything is now petroleum-based. So that petroleum-based burns hotter, it burns quicker, uh, and it has m many more uh, polyaromatic hydrocarbons. Which is where this comes in, a high-pressure liquid carbon dioxide cleaning machine. The Chicago Fire Department is one of the first in the country to get one, and it will be used to high-tech clean 4,200 sets of firefighting gear every three months. The traditional way of laundering is with water, as with most things. That removes about 56% of the carcinogens and uh, bad things. The CO2 will only take out about upwards of 98, 99%. So we're looking at a much cleaner gear. My hope is where you're going to start to see the differences a couple years down the line when maybe some of those cancer rates start to decrease a little bit. Now these big machines aren't cheap, costing between one and a half and two million dollars a piece. But for now, it's included in the contract the fire department has with the company that cleans the gear. On the southwest side, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.